Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player. Today we are playing Progressive Capitals on the Africa Advanced Map. We have played this map before. You guys have seen the lovely adventures of C Money on this map. We're playing as the pink player today. Again, I've been trying to mix up my frames and my avatars and my colors lately to try to uh, keep myself at least a little bit under the radar. We're playing out of the third position. We have blue going right here on the DR, which is a nice spot to go. We do have this five here. I don't know that he'll hit my five right away. He might just let me out. Um, but with these two cap next to each other, I don't think I want to be involved in this exchange at all. I could cap on this five and really lock him down in here, but I don't actually think that benefits me whatsoever. Um, and because yellow is probably not going to try to roll my cap, I think... And green goes after me. I think my best course of action... What do I think is better? Eritrea or Saudi Arabia? Eritrea is going to hold down... Almost a better hold over top right, I think, than Saudi Arabia does. Because it's more exposed and we can get back to cap faster. So I'm going to pick this. Um, it is right next to that green three. And we have green back in Persia. Okay. Um... I'm not inherently trying to hold this bonus in here. I was actually going to play for this. A double capital hold over this spot here would not be bad. Where purple and red go is going to be interesting because purple could go Cameroon and that would really... Or purple doesn't go... Sorry, purple already chose. Red goes up in Mauritania. I don't know where purple goes. I actually think this is a pretty bad capital from red. I think Morocco, which holds Europe a little bit better, uh, might, might have been improved. These blizzards are really going to choke everything up. Blue hits... Uh, blue makes a smart hit onto some yellow territories there just to chip him down a little bit. Does he try to roll the blue cap right away? He does not. He's going to take this bonus in here. Knocks me out of there. Fergus is here. Fergus the cat. Ready for action. Ready to support me playing Risk. Maybe he'll stay. Maybe he won't. The world may never know. Um... Fergus was blocking the bottom part of the screen. So for some reason, Purple had a cap in Madagascar. I totally missed it. So we've got a five down here. Blue is holding here with a six. We're going to roll out of here. Gonna roll a seven on four. I don't think that's very smart of me. Although I still have this capital here. And I can come in with the five. Hmm. No. Not smart. We're going to try to conserve as much material as possible. Not going to irritate the green player right now. So green actually has a hole over top uh, the Europe bonus if he wants it. Or he can just try to take the Arabia bonus uh, Asia Minor here first, which is probably what he's going to do. Yeah, it hits me. I mean, we can just prevent him from really ever holding this if we'd like to. Um, I'm, I'm a little annoyed green capped back here. I suppose green would have capped on this three in Ethiopia if I capped on Saudi Arabia and it would just flip flop of what we've got here, but I wanted a better position to capital. Hmm. Purple, I assume, uses this to move up. I have a feeling that purple and red are going to be cap battling maybe, or he's just going to leave it there. Because why place troops here if you're going to fortify this piece away? Unless your your goal is to gain vision of the board. Yes, purple uh, purple's going to leave that there. So the players, or sorry, not the players just yet, but the settings for our game here. We have Capital Conquest on Africa Advance. We've got Auto Setup, 60 Second Turn Timer, Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz Dice, No Rank Restrictions, Alliances Off, Fog, Blizzards on, Neutral AI uh, Behavior, and portals are uh, off we do get hit by red on the left hand side so we don't really have any view over that we do know that yellow has likely taken this bonus in east africa here are the bonuses so you can see them a bunch of plus threes we've got southern africa east africa west africa europe and asia minor all plus threes we've got the horn of africa is a plus four and then the three plus sixes of central africa sahara and north africa if you're able to hold it yellow might sack into blue or uh yeah might sack into blue here he gets broken, breaks down here, 
Oh, Blue committed a bunch of material there. He's dice rolling him down. And flags. So we're going to play off of this. Is purple down here? No, oh, just a big chunk of blue. And we get the benefit of some juicy timing. I'm going to assume that's not the end of yellow. I'm going to assume that's not the end of the yellow. We take this capital. So blue doesn't want to let yellow hold a cap. Green is holding a bonus back here. I'm going to assume there's some yellow up in Europe or on the left-hand side here. We're going to leave this material here. If blue wants to take it, blue can take it. Yellow gets annoyed with the uh, the blue player breaking him with a bunch of material. And, uh, well, pieces out there. Now, this I don't like this play by green. I think you use your three, you hit the blue two here, and you fortify out. Or, alternatively, you put a one here on Ethiopia, you hit me in Sudan, and fortify out that way. Um, strengthening a border, which I have no interest in breaking, is not going to do... Uh, do you much good now this is a benefit that i have oh he's gonna take the card off yellow okay a benefit that i have now assuming blue doesn't try to roll this right if blue tries now actually we could have purple come down and try to roll this five but i don't think purple has vision on this capital um i i'm now kind of just at a default advantage over blue where i can prevent them from holding bonuses down here uh, but obviously they could roll an 11 on 6. However, I have direct pathing down here if he gets... He, the, the problem is this 6 here. This 6 off cap can fortify. So if he rolls a cap and gets bad dice... We actually have red with a bonus already. Red has the Sahara bonus. Purple did not contest that. Um, but purple does not hold their own. I think that's a mistake. we got to get red out of here. Hopefully blue goes for red down here. Uh, but let's see if we can take an opportunistic play. We did lose some troops there. I lost I lost one troop cutting up through uh, off of my five up through uh, up through yellow, but not the end of the world. You got very bad dice on whatever stack blue left here, but I think blue's pretty weak, and red probably aggressing someone else, which is good. I think green's actually got a pretty good stronghold back here. Uh, but he should progress backwards over time. Blue's going to get 5 here. Plays off of this 11. Does he hit red? He's going to hit me. That's a curious play. He's going to roll this. This is a bad play. Hmm. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this play at all. Uh, he didn't hit red. He didn't hit... Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a very bad play. Um, he's going he's gonna to keep rolling. Okay. Blitzes it, but now what? And green watched that, so. Thanks, blue. I don't really know why you did that. I'm not going to bother taking that capital. And I know blue doesn't have this bonus. Green shouldn't try to roll an 11 on 7, so I'll be all right there as well. Um, I have no idea why the blue player did that. I also don't know how he just won a 5 on 3 cap roll, but uh, without only losing one troop, but that's, that's fine. Um, maybe he cuts through. Loses 2. He puts everything there. I wonder if he goes and tries to see what blue's got over here. Because obviously I split between these two capitals. He knows I split because I fortified some troops back. He's going to he's gonna hit yellow here. He's going to try to split the caps here. Which I think is smart if you're going to go for it. Blue flags. So he actually ditches this and then blue flags. So if we can... I'm a little worried purple knows where this blue cap is and, and comes up and takes a peek. Or or red. I Hopefully purple hits red. Because with, with double capital hold, if I can get both of these caps, I might even bail on this one up here. Double capital hold the bottom of the map. Uh, I mean, that's double plus threes with a with two capitals. That's not a bad spot to be in. And green fortifies the six into me, which is not uh, not my favorite thing in the world. Um, it only hits here. He doesn't aggress right at all. Is he going to split here? He does. He splits. Fortifies back. Yeah. So red with 12. I got to be very wary of red. 
I don't actually think I want to get overzealous into this cap here. I think I want to just defend both of my capitals, make sure green can't hit me, and maybe take the bonus down here. Because if red is operating off this four at the bottom of the board, which he is in fact doing, hopefully he rolls the cap and then lets me remove his material. Otherwise, I've got to play safely here. He might wait. I'm not going to roll that three cap right now. It's far too dangerous. Red blasts through the five there. He's going to double tap this capital. He's going to double tap this cap on the next turn. Wow. No, he just fortifies back. Well, he's going to take this. I know he's going to take it. Um, if I'm purple, I'm not happy with the move that he just made, but... Make this a three... I'm going to try to take this bonus next to red. Wait. Because I, I don't want to take the yellow card now. Oh, no. We're not we're not even going to bother with the bonus now. I lost a troop. Not going to bother with it. I wanted eight, at least eight on cap so that red is more enticed by the, uh, the blue cap here than me. Um, I don't want the yellow cards early. I, I don't think it's worth getting the four right now. I would rather get... Well, I guess they're both flagged, right? I'm going to get the four anyway, so maybe I do want to hit this. Um, I wonder if green comes off to try to take this blue cap because... Uh, why are you stacking on me? I don't like that he's stacking on me. I, you don't need to do that. I'm not going to hit you. I'm just trying to defend myself. He's not putting any uh, many troops on capital at all. Um, but he's certainly threatening me, which is not... I don't take kindly to, to threats. Hopefully purple hits red. Uh, I think purple's stuck up in in Europe, though. So, we've got two caps. Red's going to take this one and probably take it pretty handily, unless purple breaks him. I think purple's too passive right now, and I think it's going to get him killed. He lost a bunch of material down here. He doesn't have a bonus. Red's getting 16. Yeah, it takes this. He might even take both of these caps now. He recognizes the value of the bottom of the board. He's going to hit my 8 and hit the 3. I wouldn't be surprised to see the 18 on 8. Or does he just clear out the bottom? We can coexist. Is he going to get the 3 cards off of blue? Yeah. Well played. We'll set in off of that. If he lets me take this, I'll chill. This fortifies away. Interesting. I got it. Mm. I'm going to see if this is the... We're going to see if this is the yellow kill. It might be. It might not be. It's not. Okay. And we're not going to anger red right now. I, I'm almost certain I'm going to get this cap rolled. And green's breathing down my neck right now, which is not helpful. Yeah, and see what red red gets a free four set off of that, and then now he's back onto the next trade in. Now green needs to go up. I wonder if purple is capped on Russia, and that's why green's playing like this. I wonder does green try to aggress red because red's got this bonus now too. Nope, he just plays passively. He's gonna leave his two stinking stacks next to me. And red's very strong. For some reason, they let red. Purple let red get that plus six to start the game and nobody broke. Why? Stop, dude. Why? This is so obnoxious. Stop stacking on me. Good play by Purple. Hopefully Purple leverages this into uh into a break on red, maybe. This green player is really. So actually, both of those players set in early now. Yeah, I get the plus two on Uganda, which is right here. Hopefully, Red doesn't hit that. Hopefully, Red doesn't hit me at all. I would love if Red just let us coexist, but he took this position because Blue didn't. Blue decided to try to take my cap instead of coexisting with me and, and removing the Red Four when Red was strong. If he removed the Red Four, the two of us would have been fine down here. But he aggressed Yellow early. So the players in the game supporting Nest Seven from Peru. The yellow player, General Lefop from Canada. We've got the pink player, myself, Grandmaster level player, C-Money from the United States. The green player is Nutmuffin 
from the United States, the purple player, Breadman from the United States, and the red player, AC, uh, ACN or GFYB from Canada in the final position, uh, playing as red once again. So, blue and uh, yellow cards completely eliminated, available for attack. And purple does not aggress red whatsoever. Red's going to take this. Does he keep going up off of this? He must know I have two capitals. He doesn't hit me, so I'm not going to break him because he doesn't hit me. I'm not going to break him because he doesn't hit me. That's exactly right. We're getting 10. Red is in the mood to at least somewhat coexist here. And we're going to we're gonna double take here, at least somewhat aggressively. We're going to match him here. And then we're going to go here in the hopes that this very silly stacking green player does not try to roll like a 40 on 23 here for no reason. Because he'll, he'll just feed me. I have a set, but he will feed me to red. Like, 100% chance he feeds me to red if he if he drops a 37 on 23 here. We just gotta hope that he is smart. Red's taking another bonus, and he's gonna... What are you doing? Hmm. You're actually so unintelligent, it's not even funny. Is he gonna hit the red cap? He could hit that red cap. He's deciding? I think he's going to stop. I don't think he's going to hit either of these. Yeah, I was right. <sighs> he went all the way back to cap. Wow, so breaks me, stares at the two caps, and backs off. It was almost a very bad play. Because I he actually... There was not even a guarantee that he wins either of those rolls. I don't think either of those rolls would have been 100%. The 15 might have been. I don't think the 17 is. I think the threshold between the two is somewhat... Uh, close in there. However, um, I might get my 17 cap rolled now. Uh, unless purple's going heavy into red. If purple just made themselves bait, which I don't think they did. Yeah, 23. What was he getting last turn? He was getting... He's got the trade in. He was getting 23 both turns in a row. So maybe he got broken here. What, what those actions were... His last turn with 23 is when he hit in here. So I think purple might have broken him. Maybe not here, but maybe in Sahara. So maybe purple did just anger the red player there. So green backs off. Red drops eight here. Also is going to trade in, but most... So of the 23, 15 went where we can't see it. Only eight on this capital, but he does defend it, so he's smart. I think the red player is easily the best of the, uh, the other two players we're playing against here. Fergus is back, by the way, so maybe he'll be our little good luck charm to try to secure the win here. I'm going to try to retake this bonus... Um, just to see, again, I have this option back here. I also think I should trade in so that I'm not worth anything. Trades are 20 now, so um, I think that would be beneficial. Maybe even leave some troops up by uh, green so he leaves me alone. Let's make this a uh, 32. Actually, uh, and then this I want like also 32, and then whatever we got left, which dump here. And that's my exposed capital. I think I will get broken by green again here. I'm fairly confident that is what will happen. Um, especially if he doesn't have the means to go north. Like, if for some reason purple is capped on Russia right next to green's cap, it makes sense why he's only hitting me here. Because it's either break me or it's break red. Makes sense why he'd choose me. He knows red has been stronger throughout the duration of this game. And green sets in himself. Does he go for purple, though? It looks like he is. And purple's laughing at it. We're going to play a, a three-player, two-cap game. Um, I think purple dies here. I actually think this is a pretty poor investment by green. Because he likely just hit a capital, or will hit a capital. If he kills purple, we know he's hit a cap, right? Because this number has been at two the whole time. Uh, yeah, wow. So... So he's got to split those numbers between caps. I wonder if red will go right into him on this turn. And he isn't going to break red. He actually could be 
off of cap off of at least one of these capitals up here red gets 30 now red's best path you know caps are probably going to be his strongest position does does red use his best paths to go off of um does he go off of cap here go 53 up i think i dump everything i get onto my 35 here we'll see how much red hits red hits one yeah red's going we'll see if the number jumps to three caps that'll be kind of the tell green didn't set off that but he set before it but that is a potential three card feed that we don't really want to give the red player i think we lose the game if red gets this kill because he'll set in off of it and be able to get the first jump on me it's not the fastest player in the world we still see two territories the cap number has jumped it does not jump to four so there's a chance with a 49 stack here that maybe I can make a play. See what the cap looks like. Completely, completely undefended. Um, and he flags. Red with a 12. Um... Just going to leave a 10 here, just in case. I think this path's over, but I don't really remember, so I'm not going to take the risk. I don't remember if that path's over, and I, I just not really worth it. That is the kill. I don't set in off of that, so I have to be a little bit careful here, but I actually also think I have to just completely go break him. Um... I missed the bottom break. Forgot to break this bonus down here, but we at least got most of his bonus. Still getting 17 because he's got a bunch of territories. He's on four. I'm on five, and I've got three caps. I did, however, just open him up to pathing on each cap individually. So if he's smart here and sets in, he might be able to successfully roll these. 47 troops. He's got a hit. Cap's worth. Yeah, he's going to hit one cap here at least. I think because of the, he loses 20. That's actually really, really good for me. Um... And splits, so he's not going to go for a card block. He hits the six. That's a, I think that one's a mistake, because I should be able to retake this capital, which can act as a card block on him up here. Plays off the three over here. I assume he plays off the 23. Now, I actually think it's in my best interest to take this 23 cap. He's not going to be on a set. He comes off of it. Just with some material, I could assume wrap around and break. No, he's going to take the bonus here. I would break with the 15. He might try to break with the two instead. He's not going to break with it. Does the 33 come down? No, he fortifies into it. So we get this cap uh, pretty much for free. Tanzania will take. Um, I don't actually want this one, I don't think. So he's retaken this bonus here. So we'll go four here. Um, oh, you know what? Five, six, six here? Sure. And then the rest here. Leave that as a 17. He doesn't have a set right now. We can clear him out down here. Uh, let's go this. So we, us getting the green kill and him not following through on it is really what is going to win us this game. And then let's go. I want to leave myself some cards here. But this way, two reasonably strong capitals down here. He's still getting 13, but we didn't give his 35 pathing down to the bottom here. Which I think is really important. Uh, he could one point card block me here. I have a set. I don't want to use the set, but I have a set, which is really good. Um, and now we've got guaranteed plus threes at the bottom, and we're both playing with three capitals. So he'll come in here, but he won't be able to break either of these bonuses down to the bottom, which is exactly the goal here. Um, perfectly, perfectly the goal. 35. I assume you bring the. Oh, he's. he's Okay. Good game. I'll just set in now. I mean, he's he's gifting me the uh, that that territory up there. Um, so I will take his offer. Um, Still need to be careful just in case he tries to set.
head in and come hit me, but he just gave me free attack not hitting a, a cap, so... Does this fortify off too? I mean, he's gonna take a cart. I mean, he's still playing the game, right? Doesn't break anything. I don't. I can't tell if he left that. Okay, he's fortifying that one off too. Um, I think he probably left this one off. Cap. We're not gonna bother trying to. Uh... Oh my god. Okay. Good game. Well played, and good luck to you, the red player. Give him the thumbs up. Yeah. Very strange win. Um, it was all about that green kill, man. We, we got the jump on him. He took... I think he took the wrong capital. I think if I were him, I would have... Uh, I would have sunk a few extra troops. Either into my Eritrea capital or the Tanzania capital. Um, I don't even... I, I didn't do a great job commentating down the stretch. Because green just went haywire and then just quit. And, and Red didn't complete the kill. If Red completed that kill, I think he wins the game for sure. Let's take a look at the ranks. I think the Red player was probably about a master level player. It's going to say intermediate. I think they were actually better than intermediate. Purple just picked a really, really bad capital. He watched Green play here, and he picked behind it. And I don't think Green was playing this capital for the Europe bonus. Um, so very strange cap by Purple. I think that the capital that was over in like Cameroon area might have been a bit better. Blue was intermediate, uh, yellow beginner, and and green novice. I think green played better than a novice, um, uh, despite the uh, maybe a, a little bit frustrating sitting on my border. But uh, Fergus is, in fact, the good luck charm kitty in my lap. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. Ugh. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already uploaded videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you right here above my head, the subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your, rest of your day. Oh, I almost had it. Peace.